Hello and welcome to Coffee Lovers TV. I'm your host, Joseph Robertson. On the show today, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, very fine geisha from Temple Coffee Roasters. I uh, picked up this coffee while I was down at CoffeeCon uh, down in LA. Um, Temple is based out of Sacramento, California, um, and uh, they gave me this nice uh, Panama Oregon Estate geisha to, uh, to enjoy. So um, we're going to have a taste of that. Uh, I'm going to brew it on the Kalita. So I've actually uh, had this on uh, Chemex as well, and I'll speak a little bit about that uh, from my memory, what that's like. Um, I, actually, I haven't had it on the Kalita yet, so it'll be fun to, to try it out. Um, so a little bit about Temple. They've been around since uh, 2005. The uh, founder, Sean Komesher, sorry, Sean, if I butchered your last name there, um, he came back from traveling and really wanted to create a uh, community space, a gathering place, which was like many of the temples that he visited uh, while traveling. Um, and uh, coffee, uh, sort of coffee community place, uh, sounded like the perfect thing, so he found a temple. Um, they have a few coffee houses around California, and uh, they also roast as well, of course. Um, they're big on uh, sourcing farm to cup and it looks like they do a really good job uh, with direct trade um, they're very transparent with uh, all the work that they do um, and they've won many awards for their coffees so um, looking forward to this unfortunately it looks like you can't get this coffee on uh, their website anymore um, but there are a number of other delicious looking coffees they have available so uh, we'll, of course, link that below the video. All right, we're going to go brew this and uh, then come back and, and enjoy. All righty, we're back here. Um, I realized I forgot, well, kind of in a rush because I'm doing a bunch of different recordings today, but I forgot to uh, record smelling the coffee. I did smell the grounds, uh, of course, because why wouldn't I, while uh, <laughs> brewing the coffee. But I thought I'd try to crack this open and have another whiff. It's kind of an awkward bag to uh, try to be smelling from. Um, the, uh, the grounds though smelled very strongly of, of candied fruit. Um, and uh, I know my, my perception of that is slightly affected or maybe strongly affected by the description on the bag uh, and that's fine to me. Um, but um, it, it really did uh, smell quite like that. So the, uh, the description on here is candied mango, blood orange, and pistachio. Um, I mean, it, it did smell a lot like dried mangoes, the, the ground coffee. So um, that's pretty cool. Very sweet, very like strong, sweet aroma on the grounds. The, um, the brewed coffee, quite floral. That's the thing about uh, geisha, geisha coffees. Um, most of the geishas that I've had at least uh, are very floral, uh, delicate floral coffees. And, and some of them can certainly have very nice fruit characteristics. The aroma in this is quite subtle. Uh, there's definitely a sweetness to it, uh, but I'm getting like, I, I can't pinpoint an exact flower, but it just kind of, it has that sort of flower floral quality to it. Just kind of smooth and delicate. All right, let's, uh, have a pour. Um, now, I, I said before I had this coffee on the Chemex, um, and the Chemex uh, will give you a very different cup than the Kalita, of course. Uh, much more is filtered in the Chemex, and the brew uh, is very different. So in the, in the Chemex of this coffee, um, it came out quite nutty to me. Uh, and, and I didn't realize the tasting notes at the time, one of them is pistachio. And that's pretty, that's pretty, it was pretty accurate for my Chemex experience, uh, like nutty and creamy. Uh, this is the first time I'm having this on the Kalita, so we're going to see what we see. The, uh, the rich edges of this coffee really come out in the Kalita, and that's that kind of candied mango. I'm not sure that mango is the right word for the taste. Um, I'm still kind of figuring that out. I definitely get the pistachio uh, sort of creaminess and bite, and I know... For many of you listening to this, those descriptions are going to sound absurd, but it's um, it's true, and I've said this before in, in, in videos when describing coffee. 
it's just about tasting it and then trying to remember something that I've tasted or smelled in the past that is similar in experience and how it tastes and feels. And this one is very, very light and delicate. Um, there's a lot of flavors going on in here. Uh, it's a little hard to pick them out. Not that they're muddied. It's interesting that pistachio on here is coming out strongly to me, but in a different way than on the Chemex. This one's more rich. I wouldn't call this coffee uh, sweet, not like other coffees. There is a there is a delicate sweetness to it, and maybe that's like the sweetness that you'd get in a dried mango. But a dried mango, that sweetness is much more rich. Uh, that's not what this this is like uh, at all. Maybe it's the blood orange. Maybe it's the blood orange sort of sweetness that I'm tasting. Well, blood orange is a weird description to give to a coffee. Um, I guess I need to taste more blood oranges and regular oranges side by side. Uh, I, I think what I get out of a blood orange is maybe a bit more tartness than a regular orange. And there definitely is kind of a tartness to this. This is a, this is a really, really nice coffee, really fine, really fine coffee. Those wash coffees can be really difficult to describe sometimes uh, for me. Usually when I'm trying to describe a coffee, I'm trying to put it into a sort of a compound description that is more easily relatable. Um, I mean, even things like dried, dried mango uh, or dried fruits in general, I think a lot of us have enjoyed dried fruits. Uh, things like pies, pastries are really, really good um, comparisons. Something like uh, washed is often, the way I like to describe a wash versus a natural, a wash coffee will have a lot more discernible flavors, but they're much more delicate and kind of hidden. Whereas the natural will have like one or two really strong and obvious flavors. If I slurp it, in slurping this, that's actually uh, interesting. Hold on. Slurping, slurping the coffee, kind of, kind of trying to aerate it uh, in the mouth, it really brings out that blood orange. So there is like this layer of orange to this. I like the richness and the complexity that the Kalita uh, brings out versus the Chemex in this coffee. I think, um, I think it really does this coffee justice. Uh, so that's the, uh, that's the Temple Panama Morgan Estate Washed Geisha. Um, and like I said, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they have this on the site anymore. Uh, but uh, they do have a lot of other really excellent looking coffees. Um, and I'll link all that below uh, the video. And definitely go check them out, uh, grab some Temple, and uh, see what you think.